Hi, and welcome back to another video in our series. This time, we're going to talk about fun stuff in Microsoft Teams. So hopefully you've had a chance to see about all of the Teams channels, the meetings, the conversations that are going on. But we are all working remotely right now, and we are in some really trying times with what's going on in the world. And so let's have a little fun with our coworkers um, while we are um, dealing with this new reality that we're in. So fun stuff in Microsoft Teams. So I'm going to start in chat. You can see I'm here. I'm chatting with Dr. Josh. And really, I just want to call out all these buttons down at the bottom that you have access to. The first one is emojis. Hopefully, we all know what emojis are, but quick little smiley faces, thumbs up, or even a bear here. Uh, just a great way to react to somebody's comment and say, yes, this makes me smile. You know, thanks so much for sharing. After those, we have GIFs. Hopefully, you are all familiar with GIFs. GIFs are a great way to express emotion or celebration or uh, disappointment or sadness of what's going on with the conversation that you are having. And so if I want to congratulate someone or say good morning to someone in a really fun way, it's a great way to just show your gratitude or to show your excitement about something. So hopefully you can be creative with your gifts and um, use them to express emotion and have fun while you're getting your work done. The next ones are going to be memes and stickers, and these are really fun way to communicate in a way a picture is a thousand words, right? So go in and check out. We have our popular ones. We have office drama. We have memes that you can come in and customize and say, you know, what you want. Um, So whatever you want to say here, you can customize in your memes and include those in your uh, chat messages, one-on-one, -on -one, group chats, or even in a team channel. Some other really cool things that are great about Microsoft Teams chat and conversations is I'll just quickly show, we have the ability to create new polls. So maybe you are you want to have a quick conversation or a manager wants to reach out to their team and say, you know, um, you when do you guys want to have our virtual happy hour coming up? Or would you guys like to have a virtual coffee? Or maybe we'll have lunch together. And so you can just say, you know, what is the activity needed? And then quickly come in and say, virtual coffee, virtual lunch, or virtual happy hour. And then when you post this to a group chat, or to a Teams channel, anybody that has um, that is in that group chat or in that Teams channel is going to get an adaptive card that looks like this. And then they can come in and say, hey, I want to vote on um, virtual coffee. They can submit their, their vote. And then you can always go back and check out. So if I say I want virtual coffee, I submit my vote. And then in real time, it shows that I have responded. And then people can come in and take a look at the results to see what everybody is voting on. So a really quick way to just pull your team. The next one is checklists. So checklists is a great way either in a meeting or in um, a group. If you guys are talking about a project and you have action items that need to get done, you can come in and just say um, action items and then talk about, you know, the things that need to get done. Um, And so once you send this into the channel or into the chat, people can, just like the poll, can come in and as items get um, completed, they can come in and automatically say, hey, this one is done, hit save. And now everybody sees that item number two is complete and off the list so they don't have to worry about it. And then finally, um, in here is also surveys. So surveys is a, just a quick way to ask a handful of questions. It's going to be quite a bit more um, 
capabilities than the poll where the poll is just like a question with multiple choice answers. And here um, you can come in and add additional questions. And so we have uh, a multiple choice here. You can duplicate questions. You can delete questions. You can move them up or down, allow people to have multiple choice here or if it's required. There's lots of different types of questions that you can add in your survey, multiple choice rating, text number, or even a date field. So um, I'm not going to go through the full survey creation now just for um, keeping the video short, but I hope you can take advantage of all the fun stuff that's available for you in Microsoft Teams. Thanks so much for watching.